Welcome back. Well, in a competitive cashback market, finding ways to score easy money on services and products can be tricky. So, what deals are out there and how can you capitalise on them? Our capitalise expert uh, <laughs> and money expert, Effie Zahra, joins us now. Effie, hey, good Effie. morning to you. Um, talk to me. Mortgage, rent, even super. Yeah, there are so many options these days. And as you pointed out, initially with these cashback sites, there was only a few of them. Now there is just so many and it's not just getting cash back in your bank account. So let me explain. A cashback site works on the principle that you go to their website, you shop through their website, you land at your normal retailers, but they get a commission and they split that commission with you. Um, and it can be up to 15% on average, really. You're probably going to get around 5% cash back on what you buy. And instead of having the money going into your bank account, you can opt it to go either in your mortgage or your super. We've talked about that, but a new one that's come on the market now actually will help pay your rent. So let me explain. It's called PayLab and they've partnered with Rent Pay. Look, we know rent, I mean, domain data came out this week and mm. it was absolutely crazy. What it has skyrocketed. This won't solve it because obviously we're talking small change here, but it does add up. What I like about it is that it will add up once you get $5 in your digital wallet or go and pay your rent. But it's partnered with rent pay and they charge $2 per month. Mm -hmm. So do watch the fine print with some of these. Energy is also hurting a lot of people mm. at the moment. Can you get cash backs there? Yeah, and we spoke a little bit about that this week because more was about frequent flyer points. But what I'm seeing with a lot of people and they've contacted me and say they actually jump from one energy provider to another to another similar to what people were doing with home loan cashbacks collect this money up to two hundred dollars and then move to another energy provider now mm. these are done as bill credit so typically you have to wait for your first bill and it will come off that so this is if you swap over your new customer or you're moving and you get your energy and gas bill you could get up to two hundred dollars it will pay your first bill and then you could technically move to someone else and collect that's another. a good idea it's not bad. Okay, what about bank accounts and home loans? Okay, so quickly, bank accounts, you've got some that are just giving cash, like up to $20 to open an account. Others, like ING, will give you a 1% cash back, so they pay you to pay your bills simply by having an account with them. Okay. So that's not too bad of $100. Cashback home loans, they're making a little bit of a comeback. I'm noticing some more players are coming into the market. It's still not its heydays, um, but you can get cash backs of up to $10,000, but you have to have a mega mortgage for that. This mm. is a little bit more realistic. All right, wonderful, Effie. Thank you. Thank you have yourself good a good tips. weekend now. You I get, am. You do. I am. What have you got planned? You've got a real glint in your eye. <laughs> I know, she looks excited, doesn't she? I'm actually going to do some tax work this weekend oh for the ATM. Oh. <laughs> How does that bring a glint to your eye? <laughs> <laughs> do like fixing up Ah, uh, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Tax, <laughs> Here are today's top tax. stories. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my goodness, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. that never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?